सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लर्निंग कंटिन्यूज होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे आई शेल स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर साइंस बुक दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एनिमल फाइबर्स एनिमल फाइबर्स नाउ वी नो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द एनिमल एंड वन न्यू टर्म इज देयर व्हिच इज नोन एज फाइबर्स नाउ व्हाट इज फाइबर्स A fibers is a long, narrow, and flexible thread of a natural or artificial substance, especially one that is used to make textile. Fiber is a filament which are used to make a cloth or make a textile or make a yarn. Fiber are basically. two types one is natural fiber and another is artificial fiber again natural fibers are divided into two that is plant fibers and animal fibers so in this chapter we shall start we shall study about animal fibers only in previous class that is in class 6 we have study about plant fibers and animal fibers and in this chapter in class 7 we shall study about only animal fibers if you want to know or if you recall or recognize or remember or want to recall the study of class 6 then you may visit my channel a video is there which describe the plant fibers and animal fibers but in this chapter i shall discuss only animal fiber because the name of the chapter is animal fibers so animal fibers are the fibers that are obtained from animal and plant fibers are the fibers that are obtained from plant only and synthetic fibers synthetic or artificial fibers are the fibers that are made by human beings in factory in industry is known as uh, synthetic or artificial fibers so we shall discuss about two animal animals from which or two animal fibers and from where we get this type of fibers so in this chapter we shall discuss about wool and silk today i shall di discuss up to wool the topic wool and later in my next video i shall discuss about silk so let's start with the topic wool wool fibers are hair of wool yielding animals such as sheep rabbits goats alcha and even camel this wool coat this animal is called fleece this coat keep their bodies warm in the cold season that is we get the wool from sheep from goat from camel and uh, from uh, angora rabbits from yak a fleece the outer covering of their skin is known as fleece which help them to keep their body warm in winter season so first start a topic which is known as wool welding animals so wool welding animals are sheep kashmiri goat then angora rabbits then yak and camel so let's study about them all in short first sheep so most sheep have two layer of hair from which we obtain wool the outer coarse hair is known as kemp and the soft fine below the coarse hair layer of hair a closest to their skin a layer is there which is used to make many things 
from this layer we obtain the wool from the sheep now kashmiri goat the fine soft fiber obtained from the undercoat of the kashmiri goat is called kashmir kashmiri goat yani the goat which are found in kashmir is known as kashmiri goat and a fine thin outer covering of this type of goat is known as kashmiri the outer coat hair fibers are quite coarse and high quality kashmiri is obtained by dyeing or combining kashmiri goat are found only in mountain region of china and tibet the goat which are found in tibet and uh, 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 mountain region of china is known as kashmiri goat from where we obtain the wool and which have a coarse a uh, fine uh, uh, layer near the skin and people cut the hair of this type of animals and get wool from them now angora rabbit soft white fiber called angora wool is obtained from the angora rabbit a rabbit which is known as angora rabbit from which we get the soft wool sheep long god hair growing through the soft coat have to remove before the fur from this rabbit is combed out the soft white fur obtained is then spun into yarn this is used to make sweaters to make sweaters we use we use some soft wool and this wool is uh, obtained from a rabbit which is known as angora rabbit from which we get the wool now come to the point yak yak are found in tibet and ladakh yak are found in tibet and ladakh kashmiri goat is found in uh, mountain region of china and tibet and angora rabbit is found in mountain regions okay so the coat consists of outer long coarse hair and under coat soft silky wool the color is usually range from brown to bright that is uh, uh, from yak we get two types of wool one is long hair, uh, hair long coarse hair and another is soft uh, silky wool from yak we get two types of wool one is long coarse and another is soft silky that is silk wool or silky wool we call him silky wool the wool basically are of two color one is brown and another is black now camel camel fleece consists of a soft fine undercoat and the overcoat on long wool is considered a healthy natural product uh, it has excellent thermal insulation property that is we uh, the wool that we get from the camel is uh, uh, is excellent thermal Uh, insulation property, which have excellent thermal insulation property, and uh, the length of this type of wool from the uh, camel is fifteen inch, fifteen inches. Now we will study about the sheep farming. Why people uh, farm or why people uh, keep the sheep or take care of the sheep and what are the process of obtaining wool so sheep farming is a uh, process or is a uh, method where people uh, care, uh, rearing and rearing and care the sheep for the uh, uh, wool and in india basically Uh, sheep are reared that is sheep are uh, give uh, production sheep uh, they give shelter and food for the wool some places in india where sheep are reared or sheep are cared that is in rajasthan jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand and the sheep lives for 11 to 12 years and from one sheep we can get 1 to 3 kg of wool 
so here is a step or here is a process to obtain uh, wool so basically five steps are there shearing then scouring then shorting and grading then carding and spinning so let's study about all in short the so shearing the process by which uh, wool or the hair removed from the animal is known as shearing people cut the hair of uh, animals or like camel sheep uh, then yak uh, then uh, angora rabbit then kashmiri goat from this type of animal people cut the hair and the process by which they cut the hair of this type of animal is known as shearing after shearing next topic uh, next point on next step is scouring that is in the second step people uh, wash out the uh, dirty or the grease uh, uh, the hair the hair after cut it or after shearing the hair of this type of animals may have some dust so people wash them in boiling of water and which is known as scouring after scouring third step is shorting and grading so uh, after the wash out uh, some parts of the wool or some parts of the uh, hair may get damaged so people uh, separate the damaged one from the good one and which is known as shorting and after shorting the people uh, people the uh, after shorting the people separate the long and long hair from them and which is known as grading after grading the fourth step is carding where the hair the long hair again <coughs> the long hair again separated according to their <coughs> length according to their length people separated the uh, long hair and straight them straight them and the process by which the hair is done straighted is known as carding after carding the uh, hair or the wool is kept in a roll or take out the all the length or the all the long hair in a stick or in a in a uh, paper or in a uh, things where all the uh, wools were rolled out this process is known as spinning so here is the five steps that i have discussed first one is shearing that is where the uh, hair of animals removed from their body then scoring in the uh, second step the scoring means uh, to, uh, the after the shearing the hair may have some dust some grease so people washed out the uh, uh, hair uh, in with boil water and so that the grease the dust particles will remove from the hair and this process is known as uh, scoring after scoring shorting that is the parts where damage uh, damage hair and good one are separated from one another and grad grading that is the uh, uh, hair uh, is separated according to their color length and durability and the fourth step is carding from uh, in this process in this step uh, the uh, hair is uh, separated with long and short and people use them or make them a straight line and after carding the next or last step is spinning that is people roll out the uh, wool in a stick so here are the five steps after that we study about properties of wool that is 
will have some property first one is durability the meaning of durability is that wool is hard fiber that relay retains its nice appearance for a long time that is durability ka matlab long last hona that absorption of moisture that is the hair the wool which absorb the moisture so as a fabric wool is absorb moisture from the body and retains its inside its fibers this help us to hold the body heat wool in garments also generate heat from the moisture absorbed from the atmosphere that is absorption of moisture is a uh, property of wool then durability that is wool can be colored with different types of dyes then resistance to fire that is the wool uh, have the properties that will not burn in fire that will not burn easily in fire which is known as resistant to the fire then chemical structure that is wool is composed of natural proteins which are biodegradable then insulating nature wool does not allow heat or transfer through it very easily the tiny gaps present between the fibers trap the air which help of the moisture in the center of the fibers heat up making wool a perfect insulator that is insulating nature that is wool have the insulating nature which uh, ha uh, have the property to trap the air inside the fibers and keep the surrounding keep the body warm okay so last quality of wool last topic of today is quality of wool the quality of wool is judged by the color length diameter elasticity and strength durability so according to the color according to the length according to the diameter according to the durability according to the uh, uh, stressness and uh, strength or according to the elasticity wool is separated differently <sighs> and effectiveness as an insulator and its ability to take up coloring dye that is wool are separated according to the length according to the diameter according to the color according to the strength elasticity and color and so for today it's over so we have study about the animal fibers that is animal fibers are of two types one is Uh, uh in this chapter we shall study about wool fibers and silk fiber and in wool fibers we have seen that wools are found from uh, yak angora rabbits then kashmiri goats then camels then sheep for that uh, sheep are reared and cared for the uh, wool and uh, some places where wool is uh, the sheep is reared in uh, india are राजस्थान जम्मू कश्मीर हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड एंड द प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच द ओल्स इज ऑब्टेन्स आर ऑफ फाइव्स दैट इज शेयरिंग इन दिस स्टेप इन दिस प्रोसेस द हेयर ऑफ द एनिमल्स इज कटेड और इज रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम द एनिमल्स देन स्कोरिंग दैट इज इन द सेकंड स्टेप ऑफ द ऑब्टेनिंग ओल इज Uh, where the wool or the dirty wool was or is washed out uh, with boiling water then after uh, scouring uh, then shorting and grinding that is in the third step wools are separated according to the uh, damaged one and uh, good and with the go, uh, good one and uh, then it is separated again according to length according to the color then carding that is in the fourth step the hair will uh, give a heat and straighten the long hair and separated it in from the short hair and last that is spinning and waving that is in this process the wool is uh, rolled out in a stick and after that we have started about the properties of wool that is Wool have some property like durability, absorption of moisture, 
reliability then resistance to the fire then chemical structure then insulating nature and after that we have study about quality of wool that is wool is separated according to the quality that is according to the durability according to the length according to the color according to the strength elasticity and effectiveness as an insulator so for today it's over stay connected with me for more updates and in my next class i shall study about uh, uh, silk and the life cycle of silk moth so thanks for watching